eager to escape a bright future on the Great Plains, Arthur Howard... Press members currently on the French Riviera say that the Cannes Film Festival is keen on playing its role as guardian of the theatrical experience this year. It means streaming services like Netflix, who don't comply with the rules for movie distribution, are missing in action. And that action includes a lineup of 24 high-profile films that are hoping to grab the Palme d'Or. In fact, many acclaimed directors waited a whole year just so that they could debut their latest offerings at Cannes. One hour to press. You're fired. Really? They include Wes Anderson, who chose Khan to premiere the French Dispatch, despite fan pressure for an early release. The film looks at the lives of journalists working at a fictional magazine. He is the great exemplar of the mode of cuisine known as police cooking. The aromas of the kitchen cast a spell. Escaped fast and far. Leos Carax. His musical Annette kick-started Khan this year. And The Guardian says the story about a stand-up comedian's life gave the festival a much-needed boost of energy. World cinema also has a strong presence at the competition. They include Japan's Ryusuke Hamaguchi, who brought his road movie Drive My Car to France. And reviews say the film based on a Haruki Murakami story to be a high point for the rising director. So you know this island? It's kind of special, right? Meanwhile, Khan has its critics. They point out that Ildiko Enyedi, with the story of my wife, Catherine Corsini, with The Divide, Julia de Courneau with Titan and Mia Hansen Love with Bergman Island represent the only female directors at the competition. And these critics say that while Khan may have bounced back from COVID, it needs to address this, quote, chronic problem with gender inequality. <laughs> 